Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Busted. Oshomole, you are a liability to Ize Yamu. APC chief team tells Oshomole. Jackson Ojo, one of the vocal chief team of APC, has called out to APC leaders nationally. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Thank you very much for supporting us. We appreciate you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up to subscribe if this is your first time. And we really appreciate you. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. The elections of Edo State are quite uh, very close, precisely about two, four weeks to go. Yeah, thereabouts. And um, campaign are in full swings. You know, Adam Sushomole has left Abuja back home to Edo State, his home state, uh, after being adbusted as the national chairman of APC and um, apparently jobless, so he has time in his hands to come in to campaign. Um, he has come and has been campaigning with Ize Yamu, and some of the reactions have not been all good, good, good. They went to, when they went to see one of the monarchs, you see, so um, apparently... The reaction, the reception was not too good because he was not happy with um, Oshomole, saying you have been, you were a governor in this state for eight years and um, you totally and completely neglected us. You see, you, you, we were cut off from the rest of the state because of uh, accessibility, motorable road, and you did nothing about it. Of course, you have commissioner from this area who should have reported and said, this is the area, this is, that's what commissioners are for. That's what we have, you know, the House of Assembly, people representing each constituency. They are supposed to say, oh, for instance, the people of Onwa community, road is their problem, water is the issue, you know, and so the government, because, the, you know, the government cannot oversee everything. That's why they have these legislative arms to help govern, you know, to bring about true development in the whole area. However, Obaseki came and it started affecting the grassroots people. Within three and a half years he has been in government, these people have motorable road, and the monarch, when Obaseki came, appreciated him and pledged his support and said, we are supporting you. So when Ize Yamu came, he was not a man of two, words, a man of, uh, two sides. He said it straight to Adam Sushomole, you know, walked him out of his palace, and um, a chieftain is saying, you are a liability. Please, let's continue with the news and get all the details. Oshomole is a liability to Ize Yamu, APC chief team, tells him. Jackson Ojo is one of the few voices, the few vocal voice of the APC that is ever telling truth to power, no matter whose us is grind. In his telephone interview with Mike Olokoshi, the security expert blamed the crisis rocking the APC to lack of leadership on the part of President Muhammad Buhari. He also faulted the frontline role being played by Comrade Adam Sushomole in Edo State, maintaining that the former APC chairman is a liability to Ize Iyamu. If he leaves Ize Iyamu alone and just stay from behind, if he helps with the campaign from behind, Ize Iyamu will have more say you think everybody likes Oshomole? They are deceiving you when you see them on TV. And when you see them, those are his loyalists. Those are the people who are loyal to him, telling him, you are Baba, you have done well. The truth is, the grassroots people know who they will vote for. And Oshomole has not painted a good picture. Allowing Oshomole to be the front line, allowing Oshomole to be all around Ize Yamu and occupying the campaign, it's not good for Ize Iyamu. See how they were walked out of the palace of the monarch. Well, my people, this chieftain, Mr. Ojo, has said it all. He said Adam Sushomole should have taken a back seat and rather give support from behind, rather than positioning himself as though he's the one having the campaign. He said the positioning of Adam Sushomole with Ize Iyamu constantly being seen is not a good posture for Ize Iyamu. That is not making Ize Yamu to have 
you know, the, the flexibility with the people, the, 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 the mixture with the people, uh, they are rather seen Adam Sushumole. So, so those you see, you know, shouting Ize Yamu, it's not actually Ize Yamu they are, they are shouting and conversing for vote for. It's actually the person of Adam Sushumole. Those are the people who are loyal to Adam Sushumole, not Ize Yamu. And he went on to explain that this is all the fault of President Muhammad Buhari. If he has left governance, if he has allowed, if he has done things decently and in order, of course you can see what is happening in the country. President Muhammad Buhari seems to be completely out of the picture. He doesn't care. Look at what Malami did. He told the nation, he told Nigerians that yes, he's the one who gave security to the legislators, House members to go and be inaugurated somewhere. Something that is clearly against the constitution of Nigeria. How do you reconcile that? the attorney general of the country. Can you see that in, in, this is not democracy, it's called favoritism, it's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a fair playing ground. And people who are in position of authority are not supposed to act in that way. But in Nigeria, they tell you, who cares? We are the one in power, we determine what happens, we know what you know. Attorney general of the federation said that, and nobody, nobody has called him to order to say what you said is wrong. You cannot do that. Nobody has called him. Nobody. Nobody has said, how can you? This is the law. You know, nobody has stood up. No lawyer has stood up. Everybody is minding their business. This is what we do in Nigeria that makes the country not to go well. I don't know whatever problem it is with the lawmakers, but according to the constitution, they've been out of the of the of their of their jurisdiction. They've not been in the house for over one round. Uh, how many days they are supposed to be absent according to law. So where do we say, what, what's our law? What's our democracy? Who is, who is, who is, who is, who is uh, you know, making sure our democracy is well looked after? Who? Who? This is what Nigeria, this is what we are facing. This is what we are facing as a country, as a nation. And when the international community tries to intervene, uh, one APC chief team uh, replied saying, America, mind your business. We will do the election as we please in Nigeria. Is that what it is? Is there not a cause? Are we not a nation? Are we not a people of integrity? Are we not a people who should be, who, who, who Africa should be looking forward to, to say, this is how democracy should be done? Well, my people, this is what is going on with regards to this election. What do you think? Don't forget to like us. Don't forget to share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Edo states, the ball is in your court. Vote for a man and a woman of integrity. Don't allow your voice to be short. Don't allow anyone to intimidate you. You have a voice. You have a choice to vote for the candidate you feel is best appropriate that will move Edo State forward. Whatever the case may be, your decision will determine what happened. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.